Hey guys, what's up? Paladin here. I think I'll do one more gaming PC video for today. And if you're wondering, uh, the three PC videos, the $650, the $750, and this one, were made on the same day. That's why I said that, to clear that up. Anyways, to start the build off, this is a... Oh, by the way, this is an editing PC, by the way. Just like to point that out. This is not a gaming PC. It says it in the title. Just gonna say that to myself now to remember that this is not a gaming PC. But anyways wishful thinking to myself but anyways again with me saying that <laughs> the first thing is the fx 8320 again if you hadn't noticed in my last build i said that there isn't too much of a reason to get the 8350 when you can simply overclock the 8320 now however in that last build there was not a cooler involved however this is more money in a editing build so there is a cooler in this build and that is the cooler master hyper 212 evo the 8350, or 20 I mean, is at $130, and with this cooler, which is at $29, it is uh, simply just, you can't, you just, you, 8350, mind blown, just no. <laughs> I'm not bashing the 8350, I'm gonna bring this up, it's just, unless you're serious about overclocking, like you're sticking a water cooler thing in there, or you're doing your own custom thing, and you're trying to be all insane, and get like an insane overclock that's what the 8350 is for the 8320 is for quote unquote wise and uh okay overclocks such as 4.3 or 4.4 4.5 and 4.6 anyways so yeah those are the two combinations that will be going there which by the way the motherboard is the again strange gigabyte uh, ga 9770a uh, UD3PATX AM3 motherboard, AM3 plus motherboard. Um, again, long name. <laughs> this motherboard, again, is still, I call it the strange motherboard because I'm going to assume that it's a replacement for the Gigabyte uh, GA970A-D3P. There's no U, if I remember correctly. And that motherboard is just all blue. I think the only difference between the two is one is black and one is blue. Maybe one has better BIOS or something like that. But, however, people have reviewed this motherboard and said that the motherboard is completely fine and it works. And uh, just because it's a 970, guys, doesn't mean you can't overclock. You just can't overclock ridiculously high. Uh, it'll take an overclock about, uh, I'd say, 1.4, 1.2 gigahertz, maybe. That, that's possibly as high as it'll go. I don't exactly know for sure. You'd have to tweak it yourself. And don't overkill it because then you'll just burn out something, which is a no-no. Now, this is a personal opinion, uh, and uh, Jay's Two Cents will probably agree with me on this, but he probably doesn't even know who I am. I'm a very small channel, so... <laughs> uh, I agree with him in, for the fact that if you're going to do editing, you need 16 gigabytes of RAM, and I'm totally going with that. So Jay's Two Cents, agreeing with you here. $130, unfortunately, which is kind of up there compared to the standard 8 gigabytes. But, uh, 16 gigs is fast. It's gonna... You want a speedy computer if you're doing editing. And the 16 gigabytes is perfectly fine for that. If you're doing gaming, then 8 gigabytes is, per uh, is perfectly fine. If you're doing gaming and editing, then 16 is still fine. <laughs> um, but yeah. $130 Kingston, 16 gigabytes, two 8 gigabyte sticks, DDR3, 1600 megahertz memory. Yeah, Kingston is a very popular company. People should know this already. Speaking of Kingston, the next thing that I'm putting in the build is the Kingston SSD Now V300 series, 120 gigabyte, 2.5 inch SSD. Um, this is a very, uh, I think it's one of the cheaper 200 and 120 gigabyte SSDs. Uh, it is at $85. Again, Kingston is a popular company, and their SSDs are used a lot <laughs> other than uh, <coughs> Samsung. <coughs> I'm, like, coughing a, <coughs> a storm here because I'm, like, freaking sick. Anyways, still making the videos, though. I need to bring out some videos for you guys. The next up is the um, Seagate Barracuda 2 terabyte. Um, I did not put a Western Digital in here, by the way, because they're a little bit more expensive, and Seagate, is, they still make really great hard drives. Everybody uses them alongside Western Digital. So, good, still good quality, and it's cheaper. I, I usually pick Western Digital, though, and if I have the extra money in a build, simply because it's just more popular than the Seagate. They're both really good hard drives still. <laughs> um, and this is running at about 7 or, uh, I mean, $87.00. 
it's 8653 but whatever <laughs> Next up is the Zotac Geoforce GTX 650 Ti 2GB video card. You don't need a lot of GPU power in an editing PC. You just need enough to get you by. Um, most applications I think that editors use, to be honest, are probably using CUDA. Uh, even if it is OpenCL, though, the GTX 650 Ti will do just perfectly fine. Um, won't do as good as a Radeon card, so if you're using OpenCL... Uh, message me down below in the comments and I'll try and recommend a GPU to swap out the 650Ti. Uh, next up is the Corsair 200R ATX mid tower case. Uh, if you hadn't noticed, I used this in the last build. It is just a really great case. Hard to not pick if it's for $50. It's a really great case. I, it's, nice job, Corsair. Good, good job. I'm like fisting the air. <laughs> You're punching out for Corsair. <laughs> Corsair. Anyways, yeah. Oh, by the way, the Geoforce uh, 650 Ti is 300 and, uh, 300 and, what the hell am I talking about? It is 136.99. Yeah, I don't know why I'm, I'm, whatever. <laughs> to the power supply! <laughs> Having fun with this now. Uh, because the GPU is not taking up a ton of power, though, uh, mainly the CPU is, uh, the power wattage estimated wise is 358 watts. Meaning that a Corsair 430 watt 80 plus bronze certified semi modular RTX power supply is perfectly fine for this build. It is $44.99. Yeah, $44.99. Why did that sound weird when I was saying it and in my head it was fine? Anyways, <laughs> it's more than enough to power the build. And uh, yeah, that's 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 about the whole build actually. Uh, I'm trying to do these videos a little faster than the other two because the other two I was explaining tons of stuff that I probably shouldn't have. Should have just made the video and not explain things. Anyways, this is generally the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the exact total price, by the way, is uh, 789.44, which is not exactly $800, but hey, you're saving a little bit of money here, so that's always a good thing. That's always a plus. Ding, ding, ding. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and remember guys, stay sexy. Peace.